My name's Saj, it's a short form for Sajiva. Uh, I come from uh, Colombo in Sri Lanka. I came here as an international student two and a half years ago. There were a lot of my friends who had already come to this country and they used to tell me of the life here. I currently live in Collingwood. It's a student apartment and Melbourne is considered to be a friendly city. I currently work in a call center. I would say 90% uh, of my friends, I met them from work and you know, they would introduce you to their friends and then you just form this whole network of friends and you know, the, the web just keeps spreading. Is this a name or is it just... Chicken crane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have a name. I've been probably cooking ever since I was 14 years of age. I guess I like cooking for friends because um, you just see a smile on their faces when they taste your food, if it's good. <laughs> Does that help? Oh, this is good. Um, actually, it's not that spicy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to get used to public transport here, um, learn the routes to uni, uh, and just other things like how you buy groceries. I, I, I don't think I'd gone grocery shopping before for myself, um, and learn what exactly what special means, like when things aren't special. And I always wanted to be independent and do things for myself. Have you seen this movie? No. I like confidential. No. Is it good? She won the Oscar for it. I guess my love for uh, shopping, I just, I don't know, it just it comes with the need to be kind of different with what you wear and having that confidence. Yeah, I guess my biggest fear was not making many friends because having friends in another country is probably the most important thing ever. I, I, having good friends kind of defines what you end up doing in the country because as long as you're with them, you have more experiences because you do things as a group. So that to me is very important because that basically makes up the experiences that you have. In that way, I'm envious of Jeremy. Even in economy, it's like business. <laughs> I'm really excited about today, something I've never done before. I'm hoping to not make a clown of myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I'm really hoping to have heaps of fun. Actually, I just really like to see something that I've never seen before. I uh, haven't been to a real circus before. The closest I've seen of a circus uh, was um, Britney Circus concert tour last year. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Earl. You must be Saj. Yes, I'm nice Saj. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Earl. Welcome to the juggling course. Come on through. We'll show you how to juggle. Great. Here you go scooping down and we're going to throw and catch. Yep. Throw and catch. Beautiful. And then we're going to scoop down and throw and catch. Lovely. Yep. The National Institute of Circus Arts has been going for about 11 years and it has now flourished to this amazing environment we have today. It is the uh, only uh, full-time circus course that we have running in Australia for professional artists. So we're very, very lucky to have this sort of uh, facility and institute in this country. To me, it doesn't seem like this is a skill that can be learned overnight and I'm sure we're going to have quite a few mishaps. Catch and catch. One, two, catch. Yes, very good. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind drops. It is really hard. Um, but again, I think with practice, it should be fine. Uh, fingers crossed on that, though. It just goes goes back to childhood. I was never very well coordinated. And I guess I did sports that did not require much coordination. I didn't do much sports, but the few sports that it was like swimming. Probably it's like the only sport that I did. Let's twist more just from the elbow to there. Okay. I just think I need to work on timing a bit, so I, that's, that's all I've got at the yeah. moment. I don't know if... We've well, got to keep the time, you know, think it. I think of your favourite song even and try and keep it bang bang instead of t t some of the tricks are very difficult. They just require years of practice, you know, half an hour each day on just that trick. It's giving me something to aim towards. Other parts of my life aren't going bad. Hopefully juggling can cheer me up. Yeah, still. Yeah, that was a good one. 
Yep. My lack of confidence would probably come from um, family. Uh, being a failure was just not acceptable. But ever since I came here and just being independent and having to live life by yourself, it, it just gave me the confidence for life that I needed that I didn't have before. How are you going, Saj? You getting better? Apparently. Brian, help me out a bit? Yes, he is a bit better, I guess. With the juggling class in general, it really does bring the introverted yeah. person out, I find, because they're trying things new. It's not, it's not natural. They're feeling a little bit apprehensive about being there and maybe a bit exposed because of making mistakes. But we make that a very friendly environment. One, two, catch, catch. One, two, catch, catch. Yes, one, two, catch, catch. Good, good. You're almost ready for three. Almost ready for three. You think you can do three? I know you can do three. I probably can. Yeah, confidence. Yeah. That's what we're here for. <laughs> we're going to build you up. Awesome. Yes. That's it. That's awesome. When we have a new student that comes into our class, such as Saj, uh, we try to make it a bit lighthearted and not so serious. It's, uh, it's more about the journey and, and enjoyment of the whole thing, other than being so serious about getting the, uh, getting the three balls in the air. So it's, a, it's sort of like, uh, just one, just one big, happy, fun place, really. We're just trying to make it enjoyable. So, Sarge, you ready for some, some new, <laughs> new props? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. No, no, these okay, are very cool. dangerous. <laughs> I think you should continue back on with the juggling props. <laughs> we had a big blunder there, didn't I? Notice how the Diablo starts to starts to spin. Yes. Excellent. We have our first piece of success with the Diablo. Good. Right hand backwards. Yes. Straighten up. Right hand backwards. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> that was very good. Awesome. <laughs> Can I try three balls? One, two, three. Yes. Excellent. You're halfway there. You probably didn't think yes. you could do this, could you? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. Like yeah, big surprise, isn't it? Big a surprise. A little bit of practice yeah, true. comes a long way. I think Saj did a very good job today. Uh, I think it was good that he actually got out of his own comfort zone. And, um, yeah, he did quite well. I think we've got Saj uh, going on three balls. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, like practicing like this, yeah. you feel, yeah, you'll get more confidence about trying some new things. That's good. OK? Yeah. Good work. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm, I feel much more confident than I felt when I walked to the door, and yeah, feeling good about it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad I tried it. One, two, three. Beautiful, excellent. That is really good. That's what we're looking for, Sarge. Yeah. I don't think Sarge is quite ready to juggle those big knives yet, but well done for trying. After the break, we find out about the celebrations at an Australian Chinese New Year. See you soon.